Good afternoon, everybody. It's Rich and Katie down here on the river in Rich's River Smokers, West Virginia. And oh my God, I think I got it. Only after so many. What we're going to do down here today is we are going to try to make our own tomato sauce for like pizza, spaghetti, lasagna, chili. Here's what we're using. Um, we have our neighbor just went into a, a nursing home. <laughs> I hate to say that, but he has a tomato plant over there that is just the biggest thing. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll put a picture in the video for you. It is the biggest thing. And a uh, 19 year old or 19 year old, he'll go over daily and he'll check the tomatoes. And this is where the tomatoes come from. And Miss Katie don't like tomatoes, like sandwiches or no. something okay. like that. So we're going to do this. We got some, like I'm going to say it's garden tomatoes. We got um, wild wow, sweet onion, green peppers, and some yellow peppers. And we're gonna put some, uh, well, I was gonna use some head garlic, but we got some uh, minced garlic. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chop all this up and put it in this big pan. And we're gonna use the GMG today to get her done at 350 degrees. We'll get you back when we get all this stuff chopped up and we get it in the pan. Everybody back. Miss Katie took liberty of chopping this stuff up for me. We got green peppers, yellow peppers, white sweet onions, tomatoes. We got four tablespoons of minced garlic. And we have, this is to your liking. We went with maybe, I said, table, uh, maybe a whole heaping tablespoon of basil leaves ground up. We did oregano, maybe a teaspoon and a half. And of course there's the garlic for the, for the four tablespoons. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put these out here on the Green Mountain Grill. It should be just about temperature in about 10 minutes. We'll put these on. We'll get back to you here in a little bit once it, everything starts to get in the cook and everything. We'll hit you up. Oh, all right. I forgot to mention that where I, where I saw this at is I was peering around for a, like a baked beans, like a, like a barbecue beans recipe. And I come across this channel that had the title that says, you'll never eat your grandmother's beans again. And I, it was Beer and Barbecue by Larry. Um, that's his channel's name. He, he, he makes beer, uh, wine. He had all kind of fermentation stuff on there, making his own beer. And he's got some barbecue, very, he's got some barbecues, um, barbecue videos on there, not many, but this is one of them where he makes his own tomato sauce, but he just uses tomatoes and some other stuff. We actually threw in the peppers and the onions and all the other stuff, he just did straight tomatoes. But check his channel out, Beer and Barbecue by Larry. I'll leave his uh, link to, uh, I'll leave a link to uh, his channel in the description box. And um, I'll, go ahead and, I'll tell you what, what I'll do is I'll leave his video if I can up here in the iCard so you can go watch his too. So he's a, he's a cool dude. I think he's up in Illinois, Indiana. Illinois, Indiana. I have no idea. I he said it, he said it, I, I, I forget. But he's up there, check him out. Again, we're gonna put these on the smoker. We're not gonna smoke them. We're just gonna cook them at 350 degrees until everything looks like it's broken down and we'll cool them down. But we'll get back to you out here on the grill. We'll get back to you. All right, we're back. It's been about 40 minutes. I think these things are smelling pretty good. Let's try to tweak it looking at burning myself. take about two hours total for them things. We got a nice little bowl going on the bottom. We'll see it back when we pull them off. Everybody back. Our tomato, or it's a tomato mixture is looking pretty good. Look at that. Tomatoes and the, and the uh, peppers and the onions. Man, that actually smells like tomato, tomato sauce, doesn't it, baby? Yeah, it does. It smells really good. So what we're going to do, it's cooled down now. It's probably been a half hour or so. We're going to put it in a blender, and we're going to fill some mason jars. we got sterilized and everything ready to go. And then we're going to put them in the cooker, in the pot, for about 40 minutes. We'll get back to you when we get done blending these things up, right before we put them back in the pot. All right, we got them tomato, we got that tomato sauce blended up. Look at that. 
That don't look too shabby, does it? No, it doesn't. Not too bad for our first time. Not too bad for our first time. Mmm. Man, you can really smell the peppers. We, we think we could have had a little more tomatoes. We had um, kind of equal, but we need a lot of tomatoes. So apparently, it's our first time, but we're going to call this roasted, this would be homemade, Ro roasted red pepper tomato sauce. It with, wasn't red peppers. It was oh, yellow, yellow and green. Yellow, yellow and green pepper. Wait, roasted pepper tomato sauce. Smelly. Nice moonshine. Mmm, wow. You get the sweet, you get, you get sweet, don't you? Mm -hmm. Sweet. You get all the, 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 the basil, the oregano, all that. Mm, that sounds real good. So what we're going to do is we're going to seal these up, put these in our um, hot water for about 40 minutes, and we'll put them in, hopefully the tops will pop. We can seal these things. We'll see you then. All right, bye. We got these things sitting in a boil it for 40 minutes, uh, roughly 45 minutes or so. Um, we'll pull them out and we'll see if we can get them to go. <laughs> we'll get back to you in a minute. All right, bye. Back. We have our three quarts of our homemade tomato sauce. And, um, one popped already. Waiting for the other two to pop. Let them sit there overnight. See what's going on. So we'll leave. Well, I don't know about the rest. I like sauce. We'll use. We we'll won't put the recipe. You just see what we use. There's really no measurements. Just you know, what we what we used. Threw it together for our first time. So if you like the video, hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. The little Weber Smoky Mountain down here to hit that. Hit that and subscribe. Hit a little bell. Let's you know when we upload videos. Uh, or anything to the channel so go ahead and hit that and all the social media links will be in the bottom and I guess thanks for your support and hopefully this stuff goes away I'm tired of sound like this <laughs> finally the rains went away so everybody be safe out there and we'll see you on the next one